Well, Liam, first and foremost, what will you learn from that tonight? Well, I think the lads will learn, uh, learn a lot. You know, we're, we're a young group playing against a uh, uh, conference national side and um, really pleased with their, their attitude. Um, I thought they represented the club really well. And for near enough, what, 78 minutes, I think we stood toe-to-toe with them and uh, it was nil-nil and maybe, if, uh, you know, a bit of tired legs at the end and lack of concentration. But, to, you know, the whole, I thought, throughout, I thought we were... We were together and we worked very hard and, um, you know, there were some good good touches and good some good play out there as well. you feel 4-0 flattered them a bit? Yeah, I think so. I, thought, I think, uh, you know, bearing in mind we're bringing on 16-year-olds and, and that, but um, I was really pleased with the lads took responsibility, um, you know, uh, with what, with the under-18s, it's about developing and learning and... Um, players would have learnt a lot today you know fitness levels um, where they should be you know you know what they need to do how they need how concentrated they are the, the speed of the game was something probably that they're not used to but I thought they were equipped themselves well and and in the end you know the last sort of 10 minutes yes they flagged a little bit but they still stuck at it and I was I was really pleased with them so it's not all about results for you no, not at, at development. Obviously, we'd all like to win games and that, but it's it's what the players are learning along the way. That's you know, it's different to first team. It's, it is performance, and uh, you know, we we we're, we're trying to in results. We're trying to sort of develop players and people um, that are equipped to to be able to play a level of football. Hopefully, being at Portsmouth, but also if they one day uh, they might be at Aldershot. Who knows? Um, so. You know, it's about it's about developing players that they're equipped to, to be able to play at a level of football. I suppose you would say with chances created over 90 minutes, they deserved the win, mm. but it, it could have been either way after about 70 minutes. Yeah, it could have been, and um, as I say, we we had some great spell at the end where we broke really quickly and some good play. Um, you know, it was it was a there was a big gap in 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 what we are what we're about. You know, some of these lads have just started their pre-season, their football journey at a, a, a professional level. Um, so, um, you know, we, we, I was really pleased with the, the way they they applied themselves, their discipline. Um, not necessarily the te- te- tactical side of it, but the the other bits. You know, the the way they they handled themselves. They um, you know the the behaviours, if you like, that we keep talking about that 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 they showed. It was really pleasing. Casey Hancock and Minogue at the other end of the scale. These are pivotal times for them, aren't they? You've been there. Yeah, definitely. Um, and bearing in mind a few of the lads, you know, them players were um, they were used by by the gaffer the, in the morning, and, and then they've come up and played again. So they've showed a bit of resilience today in in what they've what they've done and um, but as you said it's it's a time now that things you want things starting to knit together now and and the learning is starting to actually come into for their uh, into performance for them on that seesaw aren't they where they go that way or that way yeah and hopefully you know you know whatever happens we you know that they're going to come out the right end to play a good level of football they're they're still young Uh, Matt Casey I thought was excellent today but being an ex-centre half as well, you, you know, you you don't learn the game until you get that little bit of experience you like, and that might be coming in maybe three or four years' time. So he's well ahead of it, but he's just got to keep learning, keep keep working on things, which he has done, and he looks like he's improving every time I see him, and um, you know, which is which is good.